Of course, they're all in for the feature. Here's John Hunt. Set and they're off and racing. Azano Fluff, the start. Unusual for him. He's the back marker early as they head through the first of their eight furlongs. Matching strides, sharing the lead. We've got Valdemiro orange sleeves and XL Power in the blue and white. However, the pace doesn't look particularly strong. Just look at Darwell Lyon behind them, pulling very hard indeed. On the rail, intuitive, a little bit keen, but not as bad as Darwell Lyon. Azano is our back marker. So it is Baldomiro leading very narrowly indeed on the inside with XL Power held together. Darwell Lyon is now on the outside and coming through to take up the lead. He's been given his head. Remember, he's the hard puller earlier. And now he's gone to the front, Darwell Lyon, in the purple and green striped sleeves. So Darwell Lyon, XL Power second. Baldemiro finds himself third now as they swing round the bend. Azano has just relegated Intuitive to be back marker as they head then for the home straight. Inside the final three, Darwell Lyon, XL Power, never been far away. Baldemiro, Azano both being rushed along now. Intuitive going to be played late by Jack Mitchell. Still going strongly. Last but threatening to make ground now between runners. Heading for home. Furlong and a half left to go. XL Power seems to have gone past Darwell Lyon. Baldemiro's struggling now. On the outside, Intuitive is picking up, but XL Power very much got first run. XL Power from Baldemiro and Intuitive. XL Power under Luke Morris out in front here. XL Power wins the feature by two and a bit. Baldemiro was second, Intuitive third, and they were well clear of both Azano and Darwell Lyon. XL Power takes the feature. He's got a final weather record, make that five wins from 11 starts on the synthetics, and he's put in a great performance in the end. It's all gone quite nicely for Luke Morris through the close, through the, the opening part of the race and, and the closing stages as well.